Welcome back everyone and uh, now I want to show you guys how to go in here and how to convert this to an STL file. Now the STL file is it's just going to make a triangulation of this and make it a solid so that you can take it into a uh, Cura slicer uh, and that's what program we're going to use, but you, there's all kinds of slicers out there that makes G-code, but we're using the Cura. But um, uh, I'll show you how to do that. So basically it's pretty simple. Just come over here and go to File, scroll down to 3D Print, and when you get in here all you have to do is always push Press Mesh, or Preview Mesh. Get that radio button clicked on and select, select your object, and you'll notice, you see all the triangulations of it, it's making that three-dimensional pattern, and you can see it all around in there, okay? Now, make sure you're a millimeter, because this is what this was designed for, STL, uh, binary, and uh, the refinement here, uh, if I went to low, you'll see the triangulations get a lot um, more sparse, right? And it'll get more dense as I go up to medium, and whenever you get to like medium, I like to go to high, and it just makes it a little bit more more accuracy to your 3D model. Now you can actually go in and set these uh, yourself, um, and you can do that, customize it. But I found that uh, they already have Infusion. Whenever you click on low, medium, or high. It does a fantastic job in high, so I really don't even go there. Uh, I do not do send a 3D print utility. Like I said, we're going to use that Cura slicer to make our G codes with this, so that the so that the 3D printer can read that and actually make our project, our part. And if you turn this on, it will link to your slicer, and that's fine once you get the slicer downloaded. But right now we don't have one loaded in the class, so keep that off. And when you go to OK. This is going to be very, very important. Uh, whenever we're getting ready to um, print this, I always like to make sure all my files are saved where they're easily found. Okay? And the reason I say that is because you might be working on a project, and if uh, you save it and you don't know where it goes to, when you go back the next day or the next time you open your computer up and can't find it, you lost a whole day of work or you lost a lot of work. And not only that, but down the road, you might uh, work for a company in 10 years, you've done a project, and they're like, well, I want you to open that one back up and let's go in there, let's work on that, or let's revisit that. Well, if you didn't have it saved correctly, it would be impossible with all the files that you have to find it. So it's always good to manage your files appropriately. And that's what we're going to do. And what I, I've got, I've got me a, I want to make myself a folder in here. I always like to use folders. And this is going to, I've got a hard drive or you can have a flash drive. Um, I'm just going to go up here, hit new folder. And on that one, I want to put DPT 100, enter. And I must have already had one, uh, so desktop, or I'm gonna go back to that drive. Let's see if I've got a DPT 100. Right there it is. Double click it. And so I've got my DPT 100 uh, folder. I already had one, so I just showed you how to make it. But I've already got something already in here. But I'm gonna put this one in here. Okay. And when I save this, it's going to be an STL file. I'm going to save it just like this one is laid out. DPT100 underscore, and I put my initials, JH underscore file of 21 underscore project PR5A. And uh, this one had STL, but I don't have to worry about that because it'll automatically save it as an STL because I've got it down here to save as save type as STL. So save and boom, right there we, we've got it. We have got it saved as an STL. Now, the next thing that we need to do <clears throat> and we need to focus on is working with saving things to a backup. Now, right now I've got it saved on a flash drive or my external hard drive. 
I don't ever recommend saving things directly to a computer uh, just because if you do what happens when the computer or something tears up on it you can't access it or computers change out I've had that happen it's always good to have them it's okay to save it on it but it's good to have a backup so what we're going to do is we're going to use a cloud base backup system and there's all kinds. You have OneDrive, you have a Google Drive. <clears throat> so I'm sure you're comfortable with the Google Drive. So I want to go in there and I've already got mine opened up. Okay. My Google Drive is already opened up and you can go to Google and uh, when you click on here you've got all these different options once you make you an account with Google. And here is, uh, of course, my Google Drive. And it's easy to make an account with Google. Just go into Google and set yourself up an account. So when I when I go in there and set my drive up, I've got a cloud base. So anywhere I've got Internet access, I can always retrieve my data. And I've got tons of space, and you can see this here in the storage. You can buy more storage if you need it. But this right here is plenty of storage for our class and probably for your whole educational career would be right here would probably be enough. So what I want to do is I'm going to make myself a folder. So I go to new folder and I call it DPT 100 and this is going to be my backup. So I'll have I'll have a my flash drive or external hard drive. I'll have it, but I'll also have my cloud. And right here is DPT-100. If I open that up, it'll be like, drag these files and drop in if you got any. So I want to do that. I want to go in here where I saved that at. And I want to come down to that DPT-100 and minimize a little bit. And I want to grab this one that I just did. I want to bring it over and drop it. Okay. So... It's downloading right there. It is. I've got it. So there it is in all its glory. I click on it and uh, download for a preview of it. I'll open it, see if it'll open up. A preview of it. And right there it is. There is my preview of, uh, of my object. Okay. Estimate cost is $15 for that, okay? But what I want you guys to do is I want you to save it in there, and uh, I want you to be able to make this a link for me to be able to go in there and look at it, okay? And uh, to do that, you'll notice when I go back in here to our assignments down here, um, Yours should look like this, and right here is the submission form. So I want to open that up, download original file. I'll bring that up. And uh, enable editing on it so I can edit. And put your image of your project. Well, that one was easy, right? We've got that. We can do that real quick. Fusion, there it is. Uh, I can do a snipping tool like we've done in the past. You probably already have it saved snipping tool and file new snipping this one boom file and I'm going to do I'll just do a copy and now I can come back into my word document and I can actually just control V will paste it in and I can just grab it and I'll minimize it up here make it a little smaller then I'll backspace in there a little bit, and I'll get rid of this. I don't need that anymore either. So there's that. My next thing is I want to have an image of uh, the mesh that, that I did. Okay. Well, I forgot to do that. So I can go back, and we could do it again. You can take a picture of it. Or you can actually take a picture of your um, of your part you know, in STL form. And to do that, again, you just download it, just like we did before. And when you get in there, there it is, and it's STL unit. Okay. And uh, I want to go ahead and take and do me a snipping tool. New. 
and I'll grab that right there. And uh, I'll just do a file. And I can do or edit and do a copy. And then I come back over here to my Word document, Control V or right click and paste, either one you want to do. Pull that back in. And then the last thing that you have to do here is link to your STL mesh file. So again, when you're in here, I want to get a link for this. And it's really simple to do. Right click on it and you can get link or share. I can hit share right now. And this is me. All right. So done. I didn't mean to hit done that quick. But right here, I want to change to anyone with link. Uh, see right here, your link. When you're making this link, it'll be a web link where you can go to and we can just click on it and it'll take and divert us right to your uh, your your uh, file. But right now it's only restricted. I could go on there and tell it who I want to look at it only right here with these groups or I can change to anyone with the link and that's what I want you to do. So now I'll copy the link and hit done. Okay so with that I can come back here to Word and right here's my link. I just hit control V space it connects it so I am good shape. I have got your link to it and then when you get that done uh, again when you save this, I want you to save it just like what we did earlier. So just do a file, save as, and browse. I'm just going to put this one on. Into my DPT100 folder. And again, it was DPT. And I follow the same pattern, so I click on it. But it's not a STL. <laughs> So I'll back that up because it's going to be a Word document is my type. Save it. Okay. And I recommend that you go ahead and put that into your Google Drive account as well, your Word document. And when you're in here, you might as well make you another folder. New folder. And this was for week, um, I guess week five. Create. And then you could take and dump that into week five, and you have it in week five. And also, we can go ahead while we got this open. I go to my external hard drive or my flash drive, whichever one you want to call it, and I'll grab that DPT 100 and I'll bring it in and drop it here as well. So there's there's all of that. So now, whenever you go back into this, you sh yours should look just like this, right? And uh, you should have that link to it, and then you just go in and submit it to me just like that. That way I can see your images, and I can also go and look at your link to your STL file. So quite a bit to it there. It's not nothing bad. You should, uh, you should have your uh, Google uh, Drive. You should have all that set up uh, but if you don't if you're having trouble with getting an account set up just contact me you can also use OneDrive through uh, Big Sandy Community College and uh, that's another option so just let me know if you need help with this but this is what I'm looking for at the very end of it so again if you need help let me know